plenty of stars. There's a love star, there's a hope star, there's the stars, the quilt stars actually do mean something. So, and not all, but a lot of them. A lot of them have meaning. So if you want to pull something that has meaning, then you can use the love design. And it has a little, it's a little faceted, so you can change it up a little bit. Um, I, I think keeping those stars basic and not too complicated is very important. What do you guys think? Do you think it'll be fun? Are you, are you just saying, it's a, it's a big, it's a big panel though. I mean, four, four feet by four feet. It's a pretty big panel. Oh yeah, you're going to paint the panels. Oh yeah, every one of them. So everybody will get paints and stuff. We'll all have our paints and stuff there. Don't worry, you're good. Yeah. So we'll be, um, everybody will get a panel. And when you're done drawing it, you'll start painting it. You'll, you'll be fine. Because we're going to use a method of painting that is very understandable. It's not going to be complicated. These little peaks in it. I mean, that's just, it's just a design. And you can see when it all comes together. You know what I mean? So they added a couple more elements in here. These are, this is not a bad, bad book. But see, this is just a simple one. See what I'm saying? So you can pretty much do whatever you want. See, like that's just a little one, and this with this shape in the middle. That would be another shape you could use in the middle. You know, so. Right here. A little jar. <clears throat> we began this journey earlier this summer. We'd meet up with every student at the local library every Tuesday and Thursday for a few hours for in-class presentations and discussions. And as we continued on, thanks to Kathy being our lead and Jason for both of them doing in-class presentations, they did such a good job that the students began to get a clear idea of what the project was going to be about. Right off the back, you see such creative and real talented minds at work. It was amazing to see that. Every student started sketching and brainstorming with different ideas. I look to my right, you know, I see people already starting. I look to my left, I see people, you know, getting still kind of brainstorming, getting different ideas. All these students did a such a good job at either showing you know, one of the main techniques, or in some cases, showing all the techniques. A design. All the techniques. So, two designs by Thursday, and then bring in two designs. And I would make them at least 20 squares square, because that way we can see them. So maybe, do you guys feel like this is something you could really get into designing? Do you feel like that? So maybe it's a little, it's a little floral. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Okay, we're taking a, a, a design or a bedding and then sewing it onto the quilt, and they make little patterns and everything, and that's the applique that technique. Like that, because we've got shapes and um, also details in there. And these are the piece quilts. This is what the mural's going to be, basically. Oh, yeah. It's going to be uh, pieces sewn together. They take separate pieces and sew all the pieces together for the top layer to create an abstract design. And there's all kinds of different uh, piece quilts. We'll get to those designs soon in history. And then here's an overview of the history and what we're going to cover. Colonial times, the Industrial Revolution, the peace quilts. This is the, they had to go out and do some of the man's work, you know, to help out because it was just so tough on, on the frontier. So they would just, for a lot, these would be done in like a quilting piece. Uh, and the quoting bee would be like for a friend who's going out on the trail to settle out west and they were leaving behind all their friends and they wouldn't have their friends around them anymore. So the friends you see this now, if you look at a lot of the 70s at posters and stuff, um, coming out of the late 60s and the 70s, you'll see a lot of that. There's a there's it's called it's a called psychedelic art. So um, this 
is literally where it started. He did um, the Beatles cover, um, Yellow Submarine, and um, a many posters. It's literally. No, you know, you know, just think, what do you feel about what your life, where you're at right, right now in your life? Hey. Don't ever let somebody tell you, you can't do something. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you, you can't do it. You want something, go get it, period. Some people are gonna relate to it. Yeah, that's beautiful. So now you see, look at that. So now, who had the one that had, I know, I'm gonna, I know who it was. Look at that. Yeah, take a good picture of that. I that love looks it. awesome. Like all the little like intricacy inside of it. Right. Gorgeous. It's very, very pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to capture you after you got this Yeah. A quilt that was made by John. There are very, very few of them. There's very few of them. I think he might have just a handful of quilts that he did when he conceptually, when he started to, on his journey as an artist. Those are actually fabric quilts that are designed by John. And the thing about John that, that is very interesting is he has a very, he it was influenced a lot by the Aztec, uh, the Aztec artwork and culture that, that he loved. I'm gonna just read what it says on the back of this card because I wrote this bio with him and I just want you to hear it. It says, John Stuckey is an American artist, widely, widely known for his vibrant paintings full of energy and his fiber assemblage created with beads, objects found, and uh, stitching in paint. He was very influenced by what we're doing right now. The Amish quilting, uh, format, one of the elements that we chose, is something that he was very influenced by, and you see it in his art. It's very exciting for me, and I hope, you know, you guys learned something today. I know it's a complicated thing, that's a, little, that's a little heavy, but the truth is, now we have all of our information and our elements, and your art might, your art might be fine just the way it is, but what happens is, you change. Midway this summer, we arrived at the Zico project, where we began transferring the sketches onto the 4x4 four four feet panels. From here on, everything amplified and started taking its course. You know, it was strange seeing how we started as individuals and soon turned to one another. We started feeling each other's energy. Soon thereafter, we would turn to each other as a team, helping one another with the ideas. There is a certain type of magic in experiencing the present moment. For us, it arrives through art. From within, as for
All right, Kevin, uh, what does this symbolize for you? Uh, this symbolizes the day cycle, you know. Like, every day we go through this night and day. I like it. I just like the symbolism. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it. I just like the whole movie behind it. Like, the whole culture behind it. There's so many information. I just like it. I'm not playing the piece. I'm not playing the piece. Into your power, seek everything in deep within. You gotta see the beauty in every flower. We need to heal from our darkest hour. Now it's time for all of us to finally wake up. It's all been a dream, lost in this modern world. Trying to find my way, trying to pay back to a brand new way. I just wanna, I just wanna thank every single individual involved in this project. Thanks to every single one, we made this happen for us, our people, our community. It means a lot. We're here, we're here to change the world, one painting at a time. All it takes is unity, spread. 
of love and peace. That's what we're here for. We're here to inspire every single individual. You guys were amazing. Such a talented group of people. And so young too. So much ahead. So proud of you. We are the original people. We're gonna change the world. We gotta get a little small detail. Yeah. Let me just say something for all of us We came a long way, a years away I dedicate this song to you, the kids All of us, every single one, we're all kids We're one sound so I we'll cut off the sound my name is Kevin and you're watching <laughs> you're like <laughs> Oh, no. 
my name is Jenny. You're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Velasquez, and you're watching Disney Channel. What do you guys think? Oh. We're done. Woo! How long has it been after like? Oh. She's the one that, that put like every little component into yeah. it. And she's the youngest one too. proceso durante unos meses pero escogimos el día de hoy para revelarlo al público porque primero es el primer día del día del mes de la hispanidad aquí en la comunidad y también es el día de la independencia de Guatemala. So thanks again for everyone for coming out and I hope you get a chance to talk to some of the young artists here after our little presentation and get some photos and kind of spread the word on this new iconic place in our city. So thanks again, and I'm going to pass it off. Gracias por venir a todos, y espero que cuando ustedes vean aquí el arte que está aquí, que vayan pasando la palabra a sus vecinos, a sus amigos, para que ellos también vengan a ver el arte que tenemos en la ciudad, y también después de que nosotros hablemos, que ustedes tengan la oportunidad de hablar con los, los jóvenes artistas que hicieron el mural. Hi, I'm Wilma Mullet. I'm the executive director of Tuscar's Arts Partnership. But I want to take a moment to just express how proud I am of everyone that's been involved in this project. Quiero tomar un momento para expresar el orgullo que siente eh, para todo el mundo que participó en este proyecto. I actually feel like I'm about to tear up a little bit because of how hard you all worked on this project. A lo mejor voy a llorar un poquito porque todos han trabajado muy duro para que saliera este adelante este proyecto. It is beautiful. It truly represents what we value here in Tuscarawas County, celebrating all cultures, celebrating every person that's here because Tuscarawas County is our home. Eh, es un proyecto muy bello, pero sobre todo es una indicación de lo que nosotros queremos expresar aquí en nuestra comunidad. Aceptar a todo el mundo diferentes culturas porque es nuestra comunidad de todos. Honestly, I, I, I want to say is that the children were amazing. Lo, that it is obvious. Lo único que ella quiere decir es que los jóvenes eran fabulosos para este proyecto y es obvio. The obvious uh, nature of their ability and their abilities is there. They had, they, you can see the incredible, the incredible gene pool of artists that they come from, their, their heritage is completely on display here and I've never seen a woman. Es obvio que los muchachos que hicieron este proyecto tienen un talento que nace de ellos de su cultura y es muy obvio aquí que tienen mucho talento y mucha habilidad para el arte. They're, um, they're, it, they had a work ethic that I, I've never so very I'm very proud to have been a part of this and uh, I, I feel humbled 
by their ability, and I can't really take any credit for what they did, but I can say that they listened very well to their instructions and created a cohesive piece of artwork that will be in this community for a long time and is a testimony to their to their beautiful spirits. Dice ella que ella se siente muy orgullosa de los jóvenes que participaron en este proyecto y que también en oh, I I am amazed by the artistic talent that we have in, in our community. Estoy asombrado del talento artístico que tenemos en nuestra comunidad. And to the artists, I'm proud of you. And, and uh, you know, this to me is the best mural in the city. This, this is your country. One of your contributions to New Philadelphia. And always remember that. I mean, you, we all can look here and see this and know that you that that's you. You did it. Yeah. Look. Lastly, when someone comes into your life, God sent them for a reason. Why you came here, why you live here, it is to express yourself like this. And, and I'm greatly appreciative of that. And I want to encourage you to keep doing it because it only makes our community better. Grown people don't do this. <laughs> you guys made it look easy. And there's 70 yes. people here right now. Very, very, very nice. I can't oh, I tell them how proud I am of them. That's why I started playing with them. I wanted to be able to play with them. She did that on purpose. Because I see the stars, I see the numbers. Because they were so well played for so long. And you're very strong. Because their number system is based on 20 rather than 2. They counted the toes. And the Europeans only counted the toes. So we have a number that is on 20. Because they counted the toes. And it was good. take a moment to thank uh, those that helped fund the project uh, for making this for making this a reality so that we can have it happen. Quiero agradecer las personas que han portado fondos para que este proyecto saliera adelante. So the people that helped fund the project, Dominion Energy Ohio, Ola Latino Resource Group, First Moravian Church of Dover, the Hugh A. Frazier Fund, Provia, the Branch Church of New Philadelphia, uh, the Kimball Foundation.